All right, come on, take a knee. Take a knee. Time to learn. Hey, hey. I don't like sidewinders. I don't like sidewinders. You guys are sidewinders. You, 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 you got to get over here. There's a good story about the sidewinder that I'll tell later after the session today if you guys want. But right now, there we go. That's better. Okay. So we're bringing on Alex Elder. Okay. He's, he, he was a uh, Pac-10, Pac-12 champ this year for us. Uh, went, went to the NCAs. Great wrestler from top. Uh, well, good wrestler all around. But great wrestler from top. And um, we're going to plug him in and let him work a little bit with you here. Hey, remember, when you go out and you try this stuff, if it doesn't make sense a little bit, you got a lot of coaches in the, in the building walking around. So let's work and, and work to get better and make sure we get this. Okay? Make sure we get this. This is uh, crucial stuff. You guys in high school wrestling and, and you guys coming up, you middle schoolers coming up into high school wrestling, your mat wrestling can be a great equalizer. Okay? You can beat a lot of people if you get really good on top, no, no, no matter what it is. If you get really good in tilts, if you get really good in the legs, Okay, different areas there. It's an equalizer. You can take, you can really take it out of the guy by having a tough ride, and you can put a lot of points on the board too. Okay, you can be down a couple takedowns, and all of a sudden get get on top and get a turn, and boom, it's a new match. Okay, so we got we got we got Alex Elder. Uh, who's going to be his partner? Can you use Mike. Can you use Mike. Where's Mike? Okay, we'll, we'll start out here. Okay, let's, now let's pay attention. Okay, let's really pay attention and get better here. All right. Um, okay, so we, like when you're on top, um, I mean the biggest thing about being on top is I mean a lot of people I mean you wrestle I mean, a lot of people really good on their feet, but I mean. You take a lot out of someone on top, just just riding. I mean, without even getting a turn or something, you just you ride the ride a lot of energy out of someone just by having a good ride, you have your hips in, and that kind of thing. So I mean, what you really want to do is just start off the whistle. You want to make sure you, can, you get your get your hips in, like a, uh, right off the whistle, and uh, have your chest up. You don't want to have your chest down with your butt up, but you're not going to have very much pressure on the person. You want to have your chest in, get your hips in. And uh, I like to get out to one side and, uh, and uh, have one knee in front of someone uh, right here. Almost drive over that, over that knee. So just right there without even doing anything uh, with your hands or anything. You've got a lot of pressure, a lot of weight on the hands. And uh, just that's, that's what you want to do off the, off the bat right there. Um, so I do a lot of tilts on top. So uh, what, what I do, off my, my favorite thing to do off the whistle is I'll just do a chop. Just do a chop and while driving in. So right here, chop this, and I'll drive over just like that with with your with your hips and everything like that. Drive them right over over that arm. So and it's not it's not a it's not a little just pull or anything. You're really collapsing that in, but then but you're not you're not just collapsing and using your upper body. You're driving it over, trying to break it down like that. Get that wrist. So I write a lot with wrists. Um, so, first of all, I'll show you. Uh, I'm gonna chop it, drive over it, alright? And with my other hand, I'm already coming, grabbing the grabbing his wrist right here. And uh, a lot of people, some people will ride, I mean it's kind of a preference to get two on one wrist. I like to grab the elbow right here on the outside for what I do. And um, uh, so this is like a, called a roll and tilt. Maybe you guys have seen this before, but uh, a lot of people, you'll, um, some people try to like pull the arm way across me. I like to just pull it to me, just tight. Like it's almost you're trying to pull his arm through himself to you, like it's yours. And once you have that, have it tight. You want to tuck your head right here, and just you can all do a somersault. You just do a somersault right through, and. And keep everything tight as you do it. And the key to this is having your hips beat him. Uh, have, get your hips there before he comes through. So if 
I were to do this, my hips weren't there, chest would be to roll right through. You're not going to get any points out. So, you're going to chop. Have it across, have it tight. You're going to tuck your head, obviously, and your hips are going to get there before his body does to catch him. And this foot sit, catches him right here, stays up. You're down, you can roll right out. So, this, this ankle right here is important, right? Catch his feet. And then this knee down here, kind of catch him in his, uh, and keep him in your, uh, in your hips. And then also, you don't want to be too parallel with him. Up here like this, you want to tee up to him. So it's, like, it's hard to roll out when you're stuck in that, when you're, when you're in that position right there. So, I'll show you guys one more time, then you can ask a question or something if you have anything you need to clarify. But just chop, hit it right there. And you get a lot of these points out of this. It matches, I mean, three points is huge. So, any, any questions for you guys to go try that? Nope? Alright, let's go do it.